school is getting underway. You've been cooped up for months at this point. And for couples, that can put a lot of stress and strain on their relationship. As we deal with a much different school year, it may feel like we are, we ever, are things going to get worse before they get better this fall? We just don't know. And that includes your relationships. So we are Joining us to talk about some advice to help strengthen your relationships is Dr. Ish Major from the Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Thank you so much for being with us. Hey, Tati, thanks so much for having me. Our pleasure. So we have a season finale that we'll be talking about in just a few moments. But first, there's such a high level of stress right now on couples. And now, especially heading into the fall, right? The temperature is going to drop here in Michigan. We can't be outside as much. What's the first thing that you suggest that couples do to strengthen their relationships instead of things getting worse? Yeah, and so I think what uh, what couples are facing is the uncertainty, right? It's like we don't know what's going to happen next. We're spending a lot more time with each other. Normally, we could get out of the house eight, ten hours a day. Now we're there much, much longer with each other. And so what's happening is couples are getting afraid to ask for their me time, right? Just because I love you, just because we're in this house together, in this relationship together, doesn't mean that I don't get to be my own person. So don't be afraid to carve out that me time. Say, hey, you know what? Every night at eight o'clock, I'm going to go to this room over here. You're going to go to that room over there. You're going to do something for you. I'm going to do something for me. And when we get back together, we don't have to tell each other what we just did, <laughs> right? So if you yes. ask for the me time, it can make that we time a lot more enjoyable. I agree. I definitely agree. Now, one thing that we've all heard, it's standard relationship advice, is how important listening is. Listen, listen, listen. What does it take to be a really good listener? And, you know, let's start with that. <laughs> well, it takes empathy, right? You got to care. Yes. That's the main thing. And you've got to be willing to be vulnerable. Nobody wants to hear what they're doing wrong in a relationship. And so usually, as, as our partner starts talking to us, we switch it off because we don't want to be in the wrong. And so in any relationship, what do we all want? We want to be seen. We want to be heard. We want to be understood. And if you can do those first two things well, just see me and hear me. I don't even need you to agree with me. But once those things happen, I will feel like you understand me and we can move forward without ever having to actually resolve the issue because I was mm -hmm. seen and I felt heard. Those are the two main things. OK, now let's get to the season finale of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition coming up this week. Okay. Tell us what we can expect. <laughs> what, what can you not expect, Dotsy? We've had it all this season. Okay. We've had drinking. We've had enabling. We've had cheating. We've had people putting hands on each other. We've had maybe I'm pregnant, maybe I'm nodding. And so I think the finale is going to be a little much of a thing. Right? I don't know what's happening. Can Willie and Shawnee get it together? Is Davon going to be able to last if the, he fails his lie detector test? Who knows what we're going to do with Tahiri? Who knows? Phaedra and Medina, who knows can they have a connection there? So we're, we're going to see. It's been a, it's been a rocky season, um, and I think it's going to be an even more rocky <laughs> finale. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't wait to see how that all plays out. Dr. Ish, thank you so much for being back on the show with us. Thank you, Tati, for having me.